Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Flutter app in Python using Flet. Here is the app we're actually going to create. So let's uh, play with this now. Tom Brown, put in a first and last name, say hello. And there you go, we print to the screen. Before we get started, this is the Flutter website. You can come here and learn about it. Flutter is an open source UI software development kit created by Google. And the quickest way to build a Flutter app using Python is with the Python module, a uh, Python package called Flet. We'll be using that today in our example, so let's dive in. As always, the first thing we need to do is pip3 install flet. The first step is going to be import the flet uh, library, so flet as ft. Next, we're going to build our function. This function is going to accept something called an ft page as its input, and then we're going to define what the app is going to do, our flet app is going to do in this function. The first thing we're going to do in this function is create something called a first name. And what that's going to be is a text field. That's going to be the first name text field that we're going to use as an input box for our, for our user. Next, we're going to set up the last name a text field input box, and we're just labeling a last name. Then we're going to use a column, an ft.column object, and that's going to hold the greetings. So when they enter it and then hit the button, that can print it out. Now we need to define our first uh, function inside of our app. This is going to handle the case of when a button, that button is clicked. Next, we need to actually set up the greetings. So this greetings uh, column object, it's got a dot controls dot append, and we're going to append some text. Uh, so the flat dot text input. And so we're saying hello from to actually get the value of first name and last name. So we're building a, an F string here, which is going to go into the controls greetings object, and it's of type text. So here are our definitions, first name, last name, and we put in the value, grab the values, and build a string with it. Now we need to reset the value for first name. We're also going to reset the value for last name. Otherwise, anytime the button is clicked, it's, it, that value would still stay there. Then we're going to tell our page to update. So once we set those values, we need to tell the page, okay, update the values so we'll see the, the new values. And then we're going to tell our page to actually focus on the first name. That's what this function does. And that function is complete. Now in this function, we need to add. So we're setting up page.add. That's actually adding the page we're building to our app. So the first thing that we're going to add is the first name. It's, uh, so we've defined it here as a text field. And then we're going to add the last name. Then we're going to add that button that says, say hello. And then we here's where we set up on click. We call the function that we've defined here. And it's of type elevation button object. The final piece here is greetings. So greetings is going to, we've defined greetings here, and that's going to be under that button. And then the very last thing we need to do here is actually do an ft.app. And we're going to pass it. So it needs a target. And what is its target? The target is this function that has defined our page. And all we have to do is pass it. And that is it. That is all the code needed to build this app. Let's go ahead and run the app. And there you go. That's it. So put in another name, Tom Brown. Say hello. There you go. One really cool easy bonus here is if you want to actually run this as a, a web page, all you have to do is add a view. And that's ft.appview web browser. And now you can serve this thing up in your web browser. And there it is. It's served up on localhost at this port. And there is your app as a web browser. So it can be easily served up. So what you can see here is we built a really nice little app, a really simple example. But it can certainly be expanded, do all your normal Python code in here, and build all kinds of great uh, web apps if you want on top of Flutter. Thanks for watching the video. If you found value, please subscribe and like. Thank you.